Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to talk about how we add decimals that might be positive or negative. So we're going to title our notes, Adding Decimals. And remember, with these decimals, they can be positive or negative or both because we're going to be adding them together. And when we add rational numbers, when we add positives and negatives, we're imagining that we're putting two quantities into a same container. We're going to add them to like the same bowl and we're going to see which one wins. The bigger amount is the winner. So if there's more negatives than positives, then the negatives are going to win. If there's more positives than negatives, then the positives win. So the first thing we need to do is line up our decimals. Anytime we're adding or subtracting decimals, you have to line up the decimals because you want your ones place over the ones place. You want your tenths place over the tenths place. So step one, we're going to line up the decimals. Now what do you do if there's an empty space? What if they don't have the same amount of numbers? You can put filler zeros in at the end to make sure it balances. So if we have the numbers negative 1.5 plus 4. Which one is the bigger number? Is it my positives or is it my negatives? Well, in this instance, my positive four has more than my negative 1.5. So I wanna put my bigger number on top. And I'm going to put bigger in, or in quotation marks because it's not actual. Well, this time it is, but it doesn't always have to be the actual bigger number. on top. So for this one, 4 has more to it than negative 1.5. So I'm going to put the 4 on top. The 4 is in the 1's place. So underneath that, I want to line it up with the 1's place here. These two numbers should be vertical from each other. So the 1 goes here and then 0.5. So to put right here to fill in this space, I'm going to add a decimal and a zero so that they balance. This was a negative and I'm adding these two numbers together. Now here's where I have to remember my integer rules. Remember in sixth grade when you worked with integers, if the signs were the same and you added them together. So if you had negative two plus negative three. So you had two negatives and three negatives and you put those together, you had five negatives. But in this instance, they're not the same. So if I had a positive four plus a negative one, would I add those together or would I subtract them? Since they're different signs, I'm going to subtract them. And there's a little trick we can use to help us remember that. When we add decimals, if they have the same sign, we find the sum, same sign sum. And if they're different signs, we find the difference. Imagine you had 40 people on team blue and you had negative, or you had 15 people on team red. If you ignore those decimals, you have 40 blue team, 15 red team. Obviously the 40 blues are gonna win. They have way more players. And so the question is, but how many more players do they have? So this one, the signs are different. So we're going to find the difference. So we're gonna subtract like normal.
So the positive group has 25 more than the negative group. But we can't forget something very important. The decimal needs to go straight down so it separates the ones from the tenths. So the ones from the tenths, we subtracted the ones, we subtracted the tenths, so that decimal has to stay between the ones place and the tenths place. So the decimal, so step two, we're gonna work it out. We're gonna work them out like they're integers. And then we're going to drop the decimal. The decimal is going to drop straight down. So decimal, decimal, straight down, decimal. At the end, I always like to double check. Let's just make sure I have the right sign. So this was positive 4, and this was negative 1.5. Did the positive team keep its sign? Yes. So this stayed 2.5. Let's try one more. What if you had 7.3 plus negative 0.2? We're going to put parentheses around that to keep the plus sign separate from the negative sign. So my first sign, my first thing, I'm going to line up the decimals and I'm going to put my bigger number on top. So this one, which one is bigger? That 7.3 is bigger. So I'm going to put it on top. And I need to line up the decimals. So this is a negative 0.2. So I'm going to put that 0.2 right there and I'm going to keep the negative sign. But don't forget I'm adding. I know that can get confusing. So do these two numbers have the same sign or are they different signs? They're different signs. So I'm going to work it out like it's integers and different sign means I'm going to find the difference. So I'm subtracting 0.2 from 7.3 which comes out to 7.1. Now which one was bigger again? Was the positive or was it the negative? The positive was bigger, so we keep the positive as the winning team here. Now, what if the signs are the same? What if you had negative 5.2 plus negative 3.07? Yeah, make it up. Now, I'm going to follow my same steps. Line up the decimals. Which number is bigger? The 5.2 has more to it than 3.07. Even though this number is longer, 5 is more than 3. So this number is going to go on top. So we've got negative 5.2, and I'm adding... Now here's where we don't want to mess up. This decimal needs to line up with this decimal. So we're going to put negative 3.07. Now there's this empty space up here. We can add a placeholder zero just to hold that so that it makes it easier to work it out. Now we have two numbers. Do they have the same sign or are they different signs? They have the same sign, so we're going to sum, or we're going to add these two numbers together. So this is going to be 7, 2, and 8. Now, we found the sum. So if I had 5.2 negatives and I added 3.07 negatives to that, do I have negatives or do I have positives? If I'm following my integer rules, and I put negatives with more negatives, they just stay negatives. So this stays a negative. Negative 5 and negative 3 makes negative 8 when I'm adding them together. 
And then don't forget that my decimal drops straight down to separate my ones place from my tenths place. All right. Thanks for hanging with me through another class. I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, and ring the bell to get notifications. See you guys next class.